This video explains my research findings based on eight years of teaching English pronunciation to Japanese students using the Katakana de Asobo method. In April of 2009 and 10, in my first or second class with each group, I gave a PowerPoint presentation explaining linking reduction and how to use the katakana to mimic native English speaker prosody, which I call katakana de asobo. Then each student filled out a questionnaire. The presentation was very similar to the one on YouTube of this name, and in two years I collected over 220 questionnaires and was quite pleased with the responses being overwhelmingly positive when asked if they thought Katakana de Asobo could help them speak English, 163 students marked 10 out of 10. Regarding improving their listening skills, 143 also gave the highest score. And with my most controversial point, that using L for the Romaji spelling of all La Lidoleo words, helping their English speaking, 144 students said 10 out of 10, while 94 gave that score for L improving their listening skills. To support these findings, I recorded seven native English speakers. In August of 2009, reading this list, and I asked 91 students to choose which set sounded more like Nihongo no la Lido Lelo. Again, the results were rather conclusive. Roughly three times as many students chose the L sound as being closest to the Japanese language, which is really a difficult choice to make when, for your whole life, you've been told, incorrectly I believe, that la lido lelo all sound like an R. But the fact is, to make the L sound, you must touch your tongue behind your teeth, and to make the R sound, you must not, in English anyway. Another fact is that Japanese people touch their tongue behind their teeth to say la lido lelo, as must all foreigners who wish to speak the language properly. Also, to pronounce the words that start with an L is easier and therefore quicker for the mouth to do than our words. Descaledamon, Nihongo no, la lilu lelo wa hayainan des. Rari ru re ro de wa alimasen ne. So, what is the point to all of this? Is there a point? I like to think so. I have to. The real point is this. Most Japanese people have very low confidence in their English-speaking ability, and using this system can give them some of that confidence back. They should know about linking sounds together between words, and they should know that some sounds reduce or even disappear. They should also know that there is no R sound in the Japanese language. Katakana de Asobo and Romaji de Asobo is about flexibility and fluency. It's not about accuracy, but very few non-native speakers really need to worry about that. So if you teach English in Japan, and you want to help your students achieve more fluency, please give it a try. And remember, Asobo ne! Domo! Arigatou gozaimasu!